20 countries speak Spanish as their official language. There are over 560 million people that speak Spanish worldwide. Spanish is also spoken in 60 different dialects. Being bilingual improves brain health and helps with overall memory and has been proven to decrease the onset of dementia and Alzheimer's by four and a half years. Being bilingual can help you make new friends and is a great conversation starter. Being bilingual helps you connect with family in a way you both can culturally appreciate. You also get to explore different sides of your personality. La aventura está en el más allá. Vamos a viajar. Another bilingual benefit is easier travel. Being bilingual opens doors to enjoying cultures in their purest form. Bilingual travelers have more enriched experiences during their travels. And open themselves to new worldviews. Being bilingual expands career opportunities. increases salary wages. There are five major career sectors in which bilingual Spanish skills dominate. The first sector is healthcare. The second sector is education. The third sector is business. The fourth sector is law. And the fifth sector is government services. Bet you'll go crazy over all the famous celebrities that are bilingual Spanish speakers. Actress Zoe Saldana, soccer player David Beckham, rapper Christian Perez, aka Pitbull, world champion boxer Miguel Cotto. Actor Vigo Mortensen, actor and singer Mark Anthony, Oscar winning actress Lupita Nyongo, musician and actor Oscar Isaac, Oscar winning actress Natalie Portman, World Series champion Yadier Molina, Oscar winning actor Ben Affleck. Singer and actress Jennifer Lopez. Oscar winning actor Matthew McConaughey. Oscar winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow. NBA world champion Kobe Bryant. Oscar winning actor Matt Damon. Actor Danny DeVito. Soccer player Lionel Messi. Actress Eva Longoria. Singer and humanitarian Ricky Martin. Actor and comedian John Leguizamo. 
thanks to being bilingual, I've had the opportunity to travel and volunteer across Latin America. While in Ecuador, I volunteered my time teaching music, rebuilding communities, teaching dance to the youth, mingling with the locals, and spending time with orphans. I also completed a month-long internship in Costa Rica, where I served as an interpreter for Margo and Richard, the founders of Amigos de las Aves Conservation Program. To my own surprise, I also assisted in the vaccination, maintenance, and daily feeding of such exotic birds as toucans and wild parrots. My travels have also taken me to Mexico, specifically the Yucatan Peninsula, the Mayan ruins of Tulum, and the state of Chiapas. I've also traveled to Panama, exploring beautiful Panama City. Also, home sweet home, my beautiful island of Puerto Rico. But where in your city of Chicago, you ask, can you find places to explore diverse Latino cultures? How about Chicago's Humble Park neighborhood? where you'll find the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture. The Puerto Rican Day Parade, where you're able to experience Puerto Rican culture at its best, occurs annually during the month of June. You'll experience great music, food, festivities, and the Puerto Rican culture hands-on. The parade draws thousands from across the Midwest to support Puerto Rican culture on its special day. Local and major companies alongside non-for-profit organizations show their support for the festivities throughout the entire week. Delicious Puerto Rican food, like sweet plantains, known as maduros, roasted pig, or lechon asado, rice and beans, or arroz con habichuelas, green plantains, or tostones, and Puerto Rican lasagna, known as pastelón. In Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood, you can experience the National Museum of Mexican Art. And such great Mexican dishes as enchiladas rellenas, tacos, and elotes from street vendors. Please state your name and occupation for us. Hi, my name is Imaris Anida Vera. I'm 26 years old. I'm a surgical critical care nurse in Evanston, Illinois, and my family is from Puerto Rico. What languages do you speak? I know English, Spanish, and I'm learning a little bit of American Sign Language, but my two primary languages are English and Spanish. Do you encourage someone to learn Spanish? And if so, why? Absolutely, 100%. I think it's extremely important to expand yourself, to always learn new things, specifically a language that opens you to opportunities in maybe your professional and personal life. And specifically with Spanish, there's so many people in the world that speak Spanish and there are so many people in the country as well that speak Spanish. So I think it would be a huge benefactor for anyone that 
is looking into becoming a bilingual Spanish speaker. How do you feel that being bilingual has helped you personally, socially, and culturally? Personally, I feel biling being bilingual and speaking Spanish has helped me to feel a sense of pride. Um, I'm a very proud Latina and I always take an opportunity when it arises to advocate for my fellow Latinos in English and as well in Spanish. Um, and I think it's important to connect as much as you can when you have those opportunities. Socially, I feel that being a bilingual Spanish speaker has opened me up to connect with more people if I'm traveling in my own city and if I'm traveling abroad as well. Uh, last year in April of 2015, I had the opportunity to um, travel to Tegucigalpa, Honduras for a medical mission relief trip with my alma mater university. And it was an amazing trip. There was about 40 of us and out of the 40, only four of us spoke Spanish. So it was quite the, um, quite the experience. Um, it, was, it, it was amazing for me to be able to embrace the culture in the native language of Spanish that they spoke. And I also learned a lot of words and different phrases and colloquial sayings that they had that I didn't use and that some of my friends as well that were um, either Mexican or Guatemalan didn't use. So it was really interesting to see the variation and to also connect with them in a healthcare environment that was very different from one that I was familiar with. Um, culturally as well um, it makes me feel connected to my roots it makes me feel connected to family when I can speak with cousins and uncles and my grandparents who don't speak any English um, and it makes me feel expanded I feel like I'm constantly learning new things um, and it feels good to speak Spanish whenever I have the opportunity to do so tell me about a specific professional moment when knowing Spanish was extremely useful and self-fulfilling. A specific professional moment when knowing Spanish was extremely helpful and useful would have to be in the critical care post-transplant unit. The family members of the patient came to visit and were asking a lot of questions. The patient unfortunately was not in the best state and there were not a lot of healthcare providers on the patient's healthcare team that could provide them that information in Spanish, in their native language. And it emotionally escalated the situation for the family members and for the healthcare providers as well because they had hit a block. They couldn't, they, they were having trouble. Um, as most hospital protocols, there usually is a, or there usually should be a translation system available at the patient's um, request and family's request. Um, the things were very escalated very quick. Um, luckily, I was a part of the shift and uh, a part of the team and the shift that day, so I was able to help the situation de-escalate the emotions that were flying around and properly and accurately provide the family with the information that they were looking for, but also help my healthcare team and the nurses and physicians understand what the concerns were from the family member's perspective as well. So it was fulfilling and it really just made me feel a great sense of purpose, not just to be a nurse, but to go above and beyond and really connect with the patients and families in a way that just gives you a sense of fulfillment, truly and honestly. Thank you once again for your interview. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias y que tengan buen día. So the next time you ask yourself, what can I do with my free time? How about learning a second language? Possibly Spanish.